meet you, Michael. What's your name? Michael. This is Mike Melendi. I ahead. love that jacket. Oh, thanks. Nice, nice jacket. Um, so first of all, good morning to you. Uh, you know, one thing I really, really loved about this film was how it was kind of like a, a dance of different genres all coming together in, in a kind of cool and unique way. As an actor, was there ever any challenges for you when it, came, when it comes to delivering those lines, some lines that often are funny, but audiences may not know whether or not they're supposed to laugh at that point? I live in a world where I believe everybody else thinks I'm funny. <laughs> But my wife doesn't really think I'm funny. So, and truth and jest, right? She says, no, don't do that again. But I do it, and, and I get laughed at. So, to some degree, you have to have just faith in what they're telling you, right? Absolutely. Uh, you don't have to play humor. You can't write good humor. Either people are funny or they're not funny. And I say, if it's real and it's real life, then people will gravitate to you it's the, the, because you're a nice person and you're funny. And I'm not sure that that's necessarily the case for White Bull. Right. But I f feel that the film overall has that character. If it's funny, uh, people are going to like this film a lot. For sure. And I'm really hoping that that translates. Absolutely. You know, one thing I also really appreciate about the film is that the depiction of the indigenous people who were there they weren't just a part of the plot in order to push the story forward, but they were actually part of the fabric of the storyline in the sense that the story recognized that they were there first. How important is that for you, for films, to, to kind of establish that and for, you know, the history of the indigenous people to be sort of on the, on the, in, the, in the front and not pushed to the back? Well, let me skirt the question just a bit Please. Uh, to say the the elements of the indigenous characters were responding in real life, in real time, the way you and I or the other characters would. Mm -hmm. And that in itself is endearing to me. That to me is respectful writing. That to me means something uh, for me as an actor to be able to not necessarily think I'm different, but at the same time embrace the fact that I'm different right. uh, and deliver pieces of the puzzle that in that imperfection creates perfection. I love that. I really do. Um, speaking of that, do you feel like there is a change that's kind of happening f in Hollywood for more stories to be kind of just in, like, conscious of that, of the fact that you know, you're a part of the story and your, your, your differences are what make it so special so that should be something that should be celebrated. Do you see that shift occurring now, do you feel like, think, since you first started? Let me just say that, A, this film was a blast to do. It was a, it was a real pleasure to do. Uh, I want to make sure that I state that. Absolutely. There are a lot of changes in life that are going on, uh, and people realizing that they can't do things the way they used to do. And this industry is recognizing that. And this industry, whether it's resisting or isn't resisting, I can't actually tell you that. But what I do know is that there's a change. And I do know that as long as we are willing to take a step, right, we're closer to the destination. You have to be brave enough to take the first step. You're one step closer. And then what happens next? You maybe take another step. I have a great friend of mine, and he says to me, you know what? We have to figure out how to collaborate. Not negotiate, but let's collaborate. You know why? Because if we agree to go into the room collaborating, we're going to come out better. We're not going to come out perfect, but we are going to come out better. And take that to heart and think to yourself, okay, what if we did this twice <laughs> or three times? Will we be better? Yes, we will. But it's the spirit of collaboration. So in all that change and all that... Mm, in the world of magic, we get to see uh, dreams come to life, and it, uh, I'm not just I'm not just saying this. I believe this, you know. But you won't have the opportunity to see that destiny if you don't take that first step. Mm. Very well said. 
So inspiring. Well, we look forward to more of your work and, and more collaborations in the future. So thank you again for your time and, and just for your talents that you're offering to the world. Thank you again, sir. My pleasure. My pleasure. Take care.